Hi everyone, I am here with a Bible study. Today we are going to be in the book of Romans. Romans chapter 12. It's a really, really short chapter. We'll be talking about living sacrifices, love, and that's it today. But those are very good topics. Okay, and the writer of the devotion tonight is Illabella. Yasiko, she has wrote some before, but haven't heard of her in a while. And the verse that goes along with her devotion is Romans chapter 12, verse 3, which says, For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourselves more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. Amen. All right, now let's read chapter 12 of Romans, shall we? I'll be um, in the New International Version, by the way, if you guys want to follow along. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you. Just as each of us has one body with many members, arms, legs, stuff like that, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ, we who are many form one body, with Christ being the head, and each member belongs to all the others. We're brothers and sisters in Christ if we're God's children. We have different gifts. You may have the gift of taking care of kids. So you that's what you do. You take care of God's children. You may have a gift of being really good at art. Maybe you paint pictures of Jesus and stuff and give them to people to help encourage them. We all have different gifts. You'll see here. We have different gifts according to the grace given us. If a man's gift is prophesying, let him use it in proportion to his faith. If it is serving, let him serve. If it is teaching, let him teach. If it is encouraging, let him encourage. If it is contributing to the needs of others, let him give generously. If it is showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with God's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. mouth dry bless those who persecute you bless and do not curse rejoice with those who rejoice mourn with those who mourn live in harmony with one another do not be proud but be willing to associate with people of low position do not be conceited like if you're rich and you only want to hang around people with money. Some people are like that. But if you're rich, talk to and take care of and love the poor person just as much as you do your rich friends. Okay. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. 
Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everybody. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And if they repay your kindness, your goodness with evil, that really infuriates God as well. He does not like that. And that is a bad thing. Somebody's nice to you, and then you do turn around and do something horrible to them. You're just, um, they're heaping coals on their heads. Burning coals it means they're getting deeper and deeper into going to hell if they don't change their ways. So let's put that aside and let's go to the devotion. Look what Sherm got me today. This beautiful card. I know I'm not a real mother, but Dottie was our daughter. I was her mommy, and Sherm was her dad dad. So we always celebrate Mother's Day and Father's Day because she was our child. Still is. She's just in heaven. All right. Now the devotion by Isabella Yusiko. I enjoy singing. Me too. But my lungs won't let me as much anymore. So when God graciously delivered me from my paralyzing stage fright, urging me to take the stage with my church choir, I rejoiced. The first week, I sang along with my rehearsal app at home, eyes closed and raptured, reverence and more than a little imagination. Won't be long before they'll move me to the worship team, I thought. Who knows where that could lead? I envisioned myself belting out gospel-like some unlikely combo of Shirley Caesar and Amy Grant. Well, at the first rehearsal, I stood with 50 faithful men and women to practice six worship songs, most of which I knew. Five minutes into it, I was humbled to the tips of my tonsils. My fellow altos chatted about how best to render our parts on the 12 bar. I don't read music. They captured the choir director's vocal instructions on the first try. Uncertain, I sounded like an injured duck. The worship team's voices rose in flawless praise. I was too busy thinking to soar. Romans 12 says each of us is an equal part of a whole endowed by God himself with gifts for his glory alone. Knowing my place frees me to join with my brethren in humble praise, whatever part I sing. I was always in the choir at school. I love choir. I always love to sing. Okay, and the um, homework Isabella wants you to do tonight is in what part of your life could pride be hindering you in some way? Ask God to search your heart and consider the freedom of knowing your place. Grow where you are planted. You may not want to be there, but that may be where God wants you to be at that time. So grow where you're planted. No matter where you are, do good things for others and do good and let them see you doing good and acting like Jesus. You never know what life, what soul you might be bringing to the Lord being where you are right now. Grow where you're planted. God will take care. Okay, let's go over our verses. We have five, remember. Okay, John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay, and um, 
Hebrews 13, 14. <laughs> For this world is not our permanent home. We are looking forward to a home yet to come. Amen. And number three, Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Um, four, Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And lastly, Hebrews 13, 8, which says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night and a good night's sleep. Good night, guys.